Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook ad. The first thing you're going to do is log into your Facebook account. And then once you're on the main page, you're going to come over here to Ads and Pages and click on that, which will bring you to your ad campaign page, and you're going to click on Create an Ad. So this is where you're actually going to design your ad at. The first thing you're going to put in is the site that you want your ad to link to, and then you're going to add a title, and then you're going to add body text. One of the things that you definitely want to look out for with body text is you want to make sure that you're using pop proper capitalization and punctuation or Facebook will deny your ads. Now that I have that set up, oh, let me fix that E. And then you can choose the picture here that goes in the middle of your ad. And once you choose that, then you're going to have your ad here. It's going to give you a pretty good idea of what it looks like with your title, the photo you chose, and your description. So now that we have that set up, we're going to decide who we're going to send our ad to. Now you see over here on the right-hand column, this shows us how many people that we're reaching right now with the demographics that we have plugged in. So people who live in the United States and are 18 or older, there's over 104 million. So now we're going to carve out a little niche. So we're going to focus on men, and you see when we click on men, then we come down to 44,000 because it's taken all the women out of this number. And then we're going to focus on men who are 18 to 30. And we now are going to have a target audience of just a little less as soon as that loads. 21,000 and then we're going to um, if you wanted to you know interested in men or women that's an option relationship single in relationship engaged married this all pulls from whatever the person has as their relationship status Facebook profile here's languages you can pick people who speak English so if I put in English in the US that's gonna take it down to about 20 million likes and interests. Now this is kind of like keywords for Facebook so to speak. It's a little different than Google because with Google keywords are basically like search terms. So if someone searches for a keyword you're bidding on that's when your ad shows up. What Facebook actually does that's a little different with keywords is it's based on people's likes and interests. So when someone sets up a profile you know they put things that they like or that they're into whether it's spending time with your family, grilling, whatever it is and you can kind of carve out a group of people based on their interests which is a huge advantage for you as a marketer to find a niche of people that are really interested in your product so for example let's see I have a picture of a big steak so let's look at people who like Outback Steakhouse Oops. so when I add that keyword my audience is going to get a lot smaller now Now I'm down to only 64,000 people. And we'll add one more. Longhorn Steakhouse. Now I'm down to 63,000 people. So I have to add one more filter to this because it's a site specifically about birthdays. So when I run this campaign, I also choose the option to target people on their birthdays. Now I only have 60 people. Well, this number is also going to change every day because every day it's different people's birthday. So basically, with 60 people that I can target, it's not going to be a very big so obviously if I'm going to run this campaign, it's not going to be a lot of money per day because there's just not a lot of targets to hit. So at this point I can either say, okay, this is a super targeted group and you know I'm just going to put a few dollars a day into it, or I need to figure out a way to broaden this group. Maybe I add the women back in, so let me click on all, which brings me to 140 people. I mean, there's a lot of things I can do here if I need a bigger target. But for this, I'll just go ahead and leave it. 
and then we come down here to the bottom after we've entered our keywords or likes or interests and we have an option to choose people's education level and when you click on these different things um, you can actually what college they went to or their major if they've entered that information into their profile you'll be able to target people according to that which can be very helpful depending on what you're marketing people who are in college again could be very very helpful depending on what you're marketing you can graduation years all sorts of things to eliminate by there and then in high school so I'm gonna leave this as all you see my number keeps flipping there every time I click a button and then we come down here to the bottom so we're gonna create a new campaign for this and let's just call it birthday test I'm not gonna run this campaign and let's say we're gonna put ten dollars a day into it now I have the option to um, by the way, the minimum daily budget for Facebook is a dollar a day, so anything over a dollar a day you can run ads. Schedule, when do I want my ad to schedule? Now I can just run it continuously starting today, which means that it's just on until I turn it off, or I can actually set run dates for my ad. So this gives me a 30-day window. Let's just say I only want it to run for three days. So I'm going to change this to April 16th, and now I set up a three-day campaign. And then we get to the bottom where you decide which kind of ad buy you're going to do. Facebook offers two. They offer a paper impression model, which basically it's you pay bid price for every thousand impressions, regardless of clicks you get. So you know you can buy twenty thousand impressions in a day, you can buy sixty thousand, whatever it is, and then you get X amount of clicks, and they don't promise you any specific clicks. Now you see for my categories, I'm running about $0.24 cents per thousand impressions. The other option is a pay-per-click model. This model is just going to run my impressions every single day, and it's going to only charge me when I actually get a click from someone that goes to my website. Depending on what you're promoting, what your conversion rates are, what your click-through rates are, will depend on you know which one of these models is going to be best for you. If you're just starting out and you, you don't know a lot about what you're doing or don't want to don't have a big budget to start off with, then my suggestion would be you start with a pay per impression model, kind of get a feel for how your campaign is going to go, and then once you have it a little bit better optimized, you can move to a pay per click model, which will probably be more cost effective once you're optimized. So um, also, if you have more questions about that, there's a little link here that kind of gives you a, an analysis and a comparison of the two models. So once we get to that point, we are just going to come down here and we are going to click on the Review Ad button, which I think is outside of my screen. You can't see it, but it's right there at the bottom. And then we're going to pop up on a Review Ad screen. So this is going to show us again our ad, make sure that we haven't done anything wrong there that we need to fix, the name of the ad, what we called it for just our own purposes of keeping track of it, telling me again what I picked. I picked people who live in the United States between 18 and 30 who are male, who like Outback Steakhouse and Longhorn Steakhouse, whose birthday is today, and speak English. So um, go through here. It tells me how much my bids are, what my daily budget is, and the duration which I have chosen to run my ad. And then we get down here to the bottom, and you basically have two choices. You can either place your order if you're ready and everything's good, which I'm not going to click on because I don't need this campaign to run. I was just setting it up for demonstration purposes. Or if you do find any problems with your ad that you need to go back and fix, just simply click on the Edit Ad, which will take you back to the previous screen. So that's basically it. Once you click Place Order here, your ad will go into a pending status until it's reviewed and approved by the Facebook staff. Normally this takes just a few hours, I find. Um, sometimes if you do things late in the evening, then it's not until the next day that you see your ad approved. But if it's during normal business hours, it's a pretty quick process. I think that they tell you that they'll have it done in, within like 24 hours, but I find that it never takes that long. So that's basically it. That's all you have to do, and then you can get in front of the biggest audience in the world. You can target it down to exactly who you're looking for. And it's really an amazing way to advertise your business. So if you haven't tried it, I suggest you get out there, do a little test, and I think you're going to find it's a great place to create leads for your business. I hope this was helpful.